Hello everyone. I will be talking about the MEX Embassy Track application in this presentation. Let me introduce myself first. I am Nicole Angelique L. Sanchez from the Philippines. I am currently a second year PhD student at the Applied Microbiology Laboratory in the International Center for Biotechnology in Osaka University, Suita Campus. I am also a MEX scholar. I earned my bachelor's and master's degree from the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. I also did a short-term exchange program for five months in Osaka University to do part of my master's thesis. After that, I worked as an assistant professor in the University of the Philippines, Manila before applying for my PhD. Let me walk you through the application process. Actually, there are two ways to apply for the MEC scholarship, through the embassy or the university. But for this presentation, I will only be focusing on the embassy track. Usually, the embassy of Japan in your country will announce the beginning of the application. I would like to remind everyone that the dates on this slide may differ, depending on the country of residence. To begin, you must submit the application documents by May. This includes your application, research plan, diploma, and other documents. This is then followed by the document screening. Once you pass the document screening, the embassy will invite you for an exam and an interview which happens around August. Once you pass the second screening, you will be notified to secure a letter of provisional acceptance or LPA and you will receive the final results between December and January. By March, you will prepare for your departure which includes visa application, flight reservation, and pre-departure orientation. By the end of March or April, you will be departing for Japan. Here's a short video of our batch. After the visa application, in the airport, in the hotel for quarantine, and finally departing for Osaka. In this slide, I will be talking about my own application process. The dates differ a lot from the normal application process because I applied in the midst of the COVID pandemic. After submitting my documents, I was notified that I passed the document screening. I was interviewed in October of the same year. I contacted my current sensei that I would like to apply to his laboratory for PhD. I received my LPA in December. I finally got my results in the June of the following year. From October 2021 to February 2022, I attended intensive Japanese classes online. I arrived at Osaka University early April. From here, I was a research student and during that time was compiling all my documents I needed for the PhD application. Just a reminder, the application for graduate school may differ from one another. I was scheduled to take an exam and interview last May 2022 and receive the final acceptance in June 2022. A few tips. When you write your research plan, be clear. So next, uh, follow instructions on how to secure your LPA from the university. Take note of the application deadline and other important dates. And finally, study well for the written exam and present yourself well during the interview. In this slide, I would like to share the benefits of being a MEX scholar. First, you will receive a monthly stipend depending on your status. For research students, 146,000 yen. For masters, 147,000 yen, and for PhD students, 148,000 yen. Second, tuition and entrance exam fees are fully covered. And lastly, traveling expenses when you depart and leave Japan are also taken care of. Here's a sample of the budgeting scheme. This is only a sample and will highly vary depending on your rent, your utilities, food, and when you go out and others. So a few tips once again, staying in a university dorm can save you money. Second, cooking your own meals is cheaper compared to dining out. Next, watch out for discounted prices when buying groceries. Next, visit secondhand shops. And lastly, investing on a bike can reduce transportation expenses to and from the university. Thank you for listening! For more information on Osaka University, you may reach us at study.ou1 at cgin.osaka-u.ac.jp. 
Here are also our other websites. I hope to see you next year in Osaka University. Thank you.